Welcome to Tomahawk DIY everyone. I'm Mike. Today we're going to take a look at replacing this shower head with a shower hose sprayer. It's a pretty easy installation. I'll show you how. We have kids in the house and this is a great product to help in washing and bathing the kids. I'll include a link where you can pick one up on Amazon. There's lots of different styles available. I've also installed a valve on the end of this hose sprayer and what this is going to let me do is reduce the flow of water so that we can reduce our water bill. Um, it's a great little product, costs a few bucks, and uh, will save you some money. So, let's take a look at how to install one of these. Alright, the first thing we need to do is take off the old shower head. It's pretty easy to use, do. We use these tongue and groove pliers, also known as channel locks, which is a brand name, or a few other names. And just to help damage, keep the chrome from getting damaged, I'm going to use this piece of rag and wrap it around where I'll grab on with these channel locks and loosen it. So, with that unscrewed, it's really easy to move on and do the next step. We're going to clean off some of this old plumber's um, Teflon tape and then we'll be putting some new Teflon tape on in, it, in its place. Alright, so we're going to take some of this Teflon tape, it's, uh, you can pick this up most hardware stores, Amazon, etc. And we're going to just wrap around the threads a couple times and this will help keep, uh, help seal the um, valve that we're putting on here so that we're not leaking water. So once you've wrapped it around maybe three or four times, just break it off like that. Now to put on our valve, to make it easier, I'm going to get this hose off. And that's quite easy to do. Just unscrew the end of the hose. And now we can, this would be the same if you're putting one of these valves on, you do this the very same way that we'll put, in, put, uh, put this on here. Or if you don't have the valve, you're just going to be screwing on the, the, uh, the valve, the mounting bracket here. So, pretty easy to do. Now I'm going to tighten this to where it's finger tight. And then if I'm going to line, get it lined up so I have this in the correct orientation for the shower spray head. And then we'll get everything hooked up and see if we need to tighten it further. So put my hose back on. And then get the shower head up in place. And with that I'm going to get out of the shower, turn this on and see if we have any leaks. So there are a couple leaks coming. I'm seeing a drip, a drip coming from right here, so I need to tighten down there better. And I haven't tightened this down enough. So let's get those tight. So to tighten right here, I'm going to use that rag again to help keep my chrome looking nice. I'll just push this around a little bit. And I'm tightening this one full circle here. And I bet that takes care of our leak. We're going to tighten down on this a little bit more. We'll check it again. Okay, looks like I've gotten rid of the leaks pretty good. Now, remember this valve I said I was putting up. Uh, if you choose to do this, be careful. You never want to use this to actually turn off and leave the water shut off. You always want to lose, use the valve at the bottom. But you'll see here how I can adjust the flow, so that's full flow, and then I can reduce the flow. So I've reduced the amount of water that's flowing out that. You can still take a shower, you can tune around and figure out the right spot that's going to work best for you, but it'll save you some money by reducing the, uh, the volume of water coming out of your faucet, out of your shower head. Alright everyone, thanks for watching Tomahawk DIY. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, leave some comments, like the video, um, buy one of these off the link to Amazon, or uh, I'll include a GoFundMe thing in the video up in the upper corner. I'm not sure if it's this side or that side, but it'll show up there. So have a great day.